a Russian-made armored vehicle spotted on the move inside Syria, painted in Russian army camouflage. Just the latest indication of what the U.S. fears is an imminent Russian military buildup to prop up Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. The United States is concerned by reports uh, that Russia may have deployed uh, additional military personnel and aircraft uh, to Syria, uh, precisely because it's difficult to decipher uh, their intentions. U.S. satellites have observed at least three massive Russian Antonov aircraft offloading building supplies and air traffic control equipment, and another Russian aircraft bringing in personnel, all in recent days. U.S. defense officials say they expect eventually to see more than 1,000 Russian troops running the airbase and possibly launching airstrikes against moderate rebels Assad is fighting. And if Moscow moves ahead? These steps could lead to greater loss of life. They could increase refugee flows and risk confrontation uh, with the counter-ISIL coalition that's operating uh, inside of Syria. A frightening prospect for this bloody civil war. The U.S. had hoped Russia was coming around to the idea that Assad needed to go. But concerns of a Russian change of heart prompted a weekend telephone call from Secretary of State John Kerry to Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. The most productive thing that Russia can do for the conflict in Syria is to stop aiding and abetting Bashar al-Assad. Russian military action could prompt even more Syrians to flee to the safety of Europe. If we think that the refugee crisis in Europe is very bad right now, it's going to get 10 times worse than it currently is. And this is why it is exceptionally important to put a lid on this very, very quickly and prevent the Russians from actually exercising a kinetic option in Syria.